allow me to provide a little bit of context for what you're about to see. This is actually the last run that I've recorded, um, even though it's not the last on the board. In fact, I'm editing this board as we speak, so we're very far along, but I'm going back and I'm redoing Shadow Man now. Why am I doing that? Well, I did him originally, and it was a perfect run, but I did something that I have been haunted by ever since, and that's that I used a save state. Don't worry, I admitted to it in the run, but I laid it down right before the boss gates because I didn't think it was ever going to be possible that I'd be able to take out Shadow Man if I had to keep going through his stage every time. It just wasn't working. So I laid down the save state, admitted to it, and specifically, um, you know, pointed that out, and I, I took him out successfully, eventually, after many, many tries. Well, man, I didn't like that I did that, but there was no other way around it. I've gone back and practiced Shadow Man since, and I just can't do him. Or at least I couldn't. Until recently, when I figured out how to use something against him. No, it's not what you're thinking. No, it's not that either. I'll just let the run do the talking. But yeah, what you're about to see is not my first no damage run, but it's my first legitimate one. And I hope you enjoy. I'm glad I was able to go back and do this for real. Because man, does he have a smug look on his face. And I can't wait to wipe it off. Ah, oh, I hate Shadow Man stage. It's so, so boring. And you have to go all the way back through the entire thing every time Shadow Man makes a fool out of you. I think by this point I can do the stage in my sleep. It's not the problem. But Shadow Man himself is a fucking nightmare. And I cannot believe that my recording software lost that footage. I'm actually very upset by that. Because this is not footage that is easy to recreate. It would never lose Skullman's footage, I'll put it that way. It's always got to be Venus or Shadow Man, some, someone who's really going to pose a problem. Switch to the Needle Cannon, there's no real reason apart from the fact that it's a larger projectile. And I don't feel like screwing around with these bunnies any more than I have to. These guys are no problem at all but I'm using the Magnet Missile because it really speeds things up. And also, let's be honest, making it this far into the stage, I want to be sure that I get a shot at Shadow Man. Don't want to leave any room for things to go wrong. Especially since I'm already seeing two of the things will go wrong by the fact that I'm using the Rush Jet. But man, this is my only shot. As long as I can make his health go down faster than my fuel goes down, I should be okay. Cutting it close. That was very close. Oh, thank God. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've got to ensure that this footage does not get lost. I, I think I will cry if this doesn't save. Third time Shadow Man has been defeated, no damage. Jesus Christ. And that's it. Mega Man 3 is complete. Two more Robot Masters left to watch. Yeah, Doc Robot, you can stay there as long as you want. I'm not paying you any mind. 
Anyway, let me shut this thing down before it crashes and I lose the footage. Thanks! Even though these guys are pretty easy to avoid um, if you are just using the buster, you just need to jump up and trigger them and then jump back, uh, you might as well just go fast. And yeah, you're going to see some... Oh no! And we're trying something that I'm sure seems really stupid. Oh! oh. Yep, that was stupid. Here, there's actually not many hazards at all. Just the enemies. So the darkness is mainly aesthetic. It works to disorient. Which, yeah, great. Very successful with that. If you're expecting harrowing commentary, you're not going to get it. This is Shadow Man, after all. I need all of my faculties, and I need to start hitting this guy, so I hope he jumps a little bit higher. If I run out of Rush Jewel fuel, Rush Jewel, Rush Jet fuel before he runs out of life, then I'm screwed. Of course, I'm already fucking this up, so probably won't matter. Yeah, god, why can't I count to three? But it's kind of my only hope. Yeah. Don't expect much in the way of commentary. Not fighting this dude. Shit. Sorry, I only have to count to three, and it's proving very difficult. Come on. Gotta hit this guy a little more. If I run out of fuel before he runs out of life, there's nothing I can do. I lost. And that's probably gonna happen if he doesn't start jumping a little higher. And if... Oh, of course, right then when I fuck it up. The stage itself isn't the problem. The boss... Why would I have jumped? Right in the corner. Oh, well, great start. Uh, what we have to do is wear his health down before we run out of fuel. And that may or may not be a ridiculous concept. Come on. You really have to hope he jumps into your firing line. Because he doesn't have to. And he doesn't always. Come on. Oh, god damn it! And that's right, we're getting equipped with the Rush Jet. I know it sounds silly and it's gonna look even sillier. But it's my only hope. Oh, fuck this guy! But it's my only hope. I may not actually have a hope. We need to hit this guy. What am I doing? Ah, 
what we really have to make sure we do is wear his health down faster than we lose our fuel. And that sounds a lot easier than it really is. Oh, fuck! Yeah, rush jet away. And that was fucking retarded. I've done it. I know it's possible. And it's really not that bad, but man, does this guy psych me out. Come on. I'm not really hitting him, and that's a problem, because if I run out of fuel before he runs out of health, there's nothing that I can do. Oh, fuck! Too low! Come on, Rush Jet. Show people why I'm using you, please. Come on, Shadow Man. I can't seem to hit this guy, and if I run out of fuel before he runs out of health, then this is over. Oh man, I really gotta hit this guy like a million times, and fucking, fucking, fuck! Eventually, this is gonna work, and you guys are gonna see why I did that. Until then, I am fully aware that I look like an idiot. Shadow Man. <sighs> Gotta make sure that you wear his health down before you run out of fuel. Because otherwise, the fight is over. And you didn't win. <sighs> We're close. Come on, of course, I'm going to start missing him. Come on, Shadow Man. Fuck, I've really got to hit this guy. Great, and now I can't shoot. Man, I just can't hit this guy, can I? And that's a problem, because if you run out of fuel before he runs out of health, the fight is over, and believe me, you didn't win it. Come on. You gotta start jumping higher, Shadow Man. I can't fucking reach you and... I'm almost out of fuel. I'm also a really lousy shot, you know that. Oh, you've got to be fucking me. Really got to make sure that his health decreases. Fuck. Oh God! Fucking bullshit. Oh, so yeah, Shadow Man. He really, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Those outtakes were too depressing. I got to get my inspiration back up. Um, so let's take a look at the one time I was actually able to beat him with the Buster.
Okay, now I'm happy again. Shadow Man was rough. Yeah, I want to use this opportunity to cover a few things that I didn't quite before. For starters, the save state. I laid it down at the boss door, and what you saw there was finally a successful run. I didn't count up the outtakes, I'm sure it had to be 50-something. Fighting him with the buster is a nightmare, and there's no way I would have been able to do it otherwise. It's only recently, thanks to Unarmored Armadillo, that I, and I do mean thanks, that I learned that you can use the rush jet against this guy, and then suddenly, it didn't make it easy, but it made it possible. Now, as far as technical difficulties go, so we had that one run. Then later I felt guilty and thought I would just do a straight, actual no damage run without a save state. After reviewing the footage from that, it looked a little strange. It seemed to be running a little faster than I was used to. Well, I figured out that what it was is that I had a PAL version of the ROM. So, um, yeah, it was actually running at the wrong speed. So I redid it again, and my computer ate that footage. I redid it again, and that's what you just saw here uh, as the proper run. So my god, I had to do Shadow Man of all Robot Masters how many fucking times? So yeah, I alluded to that in the commentary during the run, and now you know what I meant. I expected, once I learned about the Rush Jet and the fact that every three hops you just have to switch sides above him, it's actually not that hard as long as you can count to three, which I continuously failed to do. Once I learned that, I figured it would take me at most 30 runs. Man, I know my commentary got pretty frustrated, but I didn't really come near that. It turns out it only took me 19 runs. I guess when you're making it to the boss every time, it really takes a toll on you and it feels a lot worse than it is. As you saw, the stage wasn't bad. I made some mistakes, but they were just mistakes. It was a little carelessness that was working against me. Shadow Man himself, though, is a beast. If you do want to use the Rush Jet, get him to the height that I did in that successful run. That will give you your best chance of shooting him and avoiding him. Every single time, after those three hops, switch sides. Whether he's going to jump or throw the shuriken, it doesn't matter, switch sides. If you can do that and not get too antsy about it, I failed at that most of the time, you'll take him down. It's not as bad as I made it look. <laughs> Ultimately though, Shadow Man is done, and there are only two more Robot Masters left. Drill Man and Slash Man. I think I'll just let those runs do the talking. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with me to the bitter end of this series. I really do hope it was worth it, and that you enjoy what comes next.